Hey, my name is Dr. Sean Price. I'm clinical coordinator here at The Fix in Fort Walton. And um, this series that I'm shooting now um, is a series going over the basics of metabolism and what can go awry. Um, I talked about in the last video the three-pronged approach that we take. And what we're talking about here specifically in this video series is gonna be geared more towards the, um, towards the metabolic aspect of things. Um, that's gonna be a video series. So you can see up in the corner that I have the number one there. So if you start watching these videos and you're wondering if you got out of order or not, you can look up in the corner there and you can see and make sure you're doing this in the right order. So the first thing we need to talk about is what is metabolism? And metabolism is basically taking fuel and converting fuel, or taking food and converting food into energy. And everybody knows, or at least everybody assumes, that the thyroid gland is critical to that metabolic pathway. And this is true. So the metabolic pathway for the thyroid gland basically goes like this. The hypothalamus is the part of the brain that picks up on the environment. So it picks up on if it's daylight or if it's dark outside, so you should be asleep or awake. So it controls your sleep-wake cycle. It controls your sexual desire. It controls your appetite. It controls your body temperature. It controls all of these different things. So the hypothalamus picks up on T4 and T3. So if you have low thyroid hormones, the hypothalamus will pick up on that and it'll send a signal to your pituitary gland, stimulating your pituitary gland to then release thyroid stimulating hormone, which signals the thyroid gland to release T4 and T3. So in a balanced system, if your T4 levels drop too low, hypothalamus picks up on that, stimulates your pituitary, pituitary increases TSH, the thyroid gland makes T4 and T3. When these levels go up, that will send a feedback to the hypothalamus called the negative feedback saying, okay, we have enough here. So the hypothalamus cuts that communication, cuts TSH, and you have a balanced system. So that's how thyroid function works. Okay, that's the basic met metabolic pathway for thyroid function. So let's say that you are dealing with issues that you consider that might be a hypothyroid situation. So for example, let's say that you're losing, you can't lose weight, you're gaining weight, you're having some brain fog, your hair is starting to fall out, you can't really tolerate cold too well. So you're suspecting that you might have a thyroid issue. So you go to the doc and the doc runs the labs and he sees that you do have elevated TSH. So elevated TSH based on a lab value above a certain range would indicate that you have hypothyroidism. There are other things that indicate that as well, but one of them and the main one they look at is elevated TSH. So high TSH means low thyroid because that means that your body's trying to constantly make more of the thyroid hormones. So you go to the doc, you see this elevated TSH, the doc puts you on Synthroid, okay, or Levothyroxine. Those are both, Synthroid and Levothyroxine are both synthetic T4. So you take these hormones, your levels go up because of the medication that you're taking, and so that sends that negative feedback to the hypothalamus, so then your TSH level goes back down to a normal range, or actually can go too low, because that's what they like to do a lot, is give you enough medication to really suppress that TSH. So TSH goes down to a level that's really low. So now your labs look like what the doctor wants them to look like. They look like what they should in, their, in the doctor's mind, and they feel like everything is great. So you go back in for your 90-day checkup. Doctor runs your labs. Everything is where it quote-unquote should be, but you're still feeling bad. You're still having the weight gain. You're still having all the issues that you were having in the first place, even though your lab tests look normal. And that is a very, very, very common for every thyroid patient that we see. They end up in our office because they are suffering from the conditions and the symptoms that they had before, even though they're on one, two, or three medications to try to support the thyroid pathway. And they just don't understand why that is. So that is what we're gonna focus on in the next video, okay? Why is it that even though your labs are normal, that you are still focused, are suffering from hypothyroid symptoms. And that's what this whole video series is gonna be about. So you're gonna understand in depth what is going on with you and why that is happening. But the key factor here is, this is the basic pathway. Now let's cover another option. What if you went to the doc and you're having these symptoms and you did not have elevated TSH? Let's say your lab tests were normal in the beginning. So then they look at this and they're like, okay, well, there's something else going on here. We need to look at, do we need antidepressants? Do we need to figure out what's going on? So 
Either way, if this pathway is normal and you're suffering from symptoms from hypothyroidism, there's something else going on. This is only a small minutia of the overall pathway that's required for normal metabolic output. And you're gonna learn that through this video series, okay? So stay tuned, video number two, we're gonna get into why you may still fe be feeling so poorly even though your lab tests are totally normal, whether it's with or without medication. Okay, we'll see you on the next video.